Degastrant or ARV471 as a protac or a proteolysis targeting chimera. It's a different way to degrade the estrogen receptor, so an anti-estrogen. At this point, as of June 2023, we've enrolled 83 patients in this phase one, two, and so have a pretty good experience uh, with this drug. Patients were enrolled across a multitude of dose levels. What's really unique about this is the patients were quite heavily pretreated. Everyone had seen a CDK4-6 inhibitor. Everyone had already been treated with an aromatase inhibitor. And in fact, over 80% of patients had already been treated with full Vestrin. So a median of four prior lines in this setting. What was really unique is we saw no dose limiting toxicities across all dose levels, really uh, showing how well tolerated this drug is. Uh, we uh, Most common side effect was fatigue. In terms of nausea, we saw less than 25% of patients having any grade of nausea. And arthralgias can be a big problem with other uh, drugs in this indication, aromatase inhibitors, for example. And we saw less than 15% of patients having any arthralgias. In terms of all patients treated across all dose levels, the clinical benefit rate was 36%. And if we select for those patients that have an ESR1 mutation, this actually increased to about 50%. So I think uh, this is really encouraging. There are two ongoing phase three registrational trials with Vepdegastrant, Veritac 1, which is looking at Vepdegastrant versus full Vestrant, and Veritac 3, which is looking at Vepdegastrant in combination with palbocyclib in the first line setting. So really, I think that a compound like this has the possibility to go later line post AI CDK4-6 has the possibility to challenge AI in the first line setting with CDK4-6 inhibitor, and really probably has the opportunity to go uh, into early adjuvant breast cancer as well.